Hello, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Nexus 7. This is a Google product and it is made by Asus. Now what we're going to do first is uh, back out just a moment uh, just to show you the lock screen. Now, the lock screen is brand new for uh, Jelly Bean. That's Android 4.1 and what you're seeing here is sort of a little haze that goes around your finger and a couple of different options. Now each uh, different lock screen will have different options. You'll be able to customize this in the future, but for now, we've got uh, I'll unlock right down at the bottom, or we can go to this Google thing. Now, if we go to this Google thing up here, it'll bring us to a page about uh, one of the other new features called Google Now. Now, Google Now works on tablets as well as uh, smartphones, and what it is doing is it's showing you things around you. Now, what you do, what you can see here is an example of where it shows you that it'll tell you that it takes 55 minutes to get to work uh, based on traffic. Uh, next we can look over here you can see that it shows your flights you can see all the flight information uh, you can get Google Now, you can download it right now or we'll do it later we'll do it later check it out then and meanwhile we'll head back out to our home screens and what you can see here is that this device is majorly made for the Google Play Store now you can see on every page here you have uh, information about uh, you know recommendations here you have recommendations for album up here you have more music this is music that uh, they've given you for free just for this particular uh, device here you get a free we get a free movie with this device as well you get Transformer uh, Dark of the Moon down here you have John Carter that's another uh, movie recommendation here's a library they put several magazines and books in there for us. Uh, the same is true here of my books and my magazines. Down here you have a recommendation for the Steve Jobs book. Uh, over here you have one for Entrepreneur and that has uh, Mr. Facebook on there. And then a really odd thing over here is recommended apps. The first recommended app is Advanced Task Manager, which is uh, extremely surprising to, given the uh, hardware that we're working with here. And that Google has that you know wrapped up without the manager in itself. So down at the bottom here you have uh, your recent apps you also have uh, home and back. Uh, that doesn't do anything at the moment because we don't have anywhere to go back to. Up here you have a Google widget that just allows you to do uh, dictation and search for what you need to do. You see, you see that has a different sort of look there as well. Dictation, search for what you need to look for. She says the store looks as well, so that's pretty close. And it goes on. Now we're connected to uh, Wi-Fi here, so that's why we're able to do this. But we can also get dictation without uh, being online, and that's a new feature that's been released this week as well. Now, what you're seeing down here, uh, besides uh, what's up here, is uh, not only these ho home buttons, but a, a list of uh, or a set of uh, different icons that we've never seen before. Now, we've seen some of them before in different places, like we see at the Google Movies. We have this uh, Google Music, and then you have the uh, Google Play Store right there. We also have books and magazines. Over here, we have a folder with a few more items in it, such as People, Chrome, Chrome being the uh, the new default for all uh, Android devices that are on Jelly Bean and above. Uh, we also have a new version of Google Currents, Google Earth, and Google Plus and Gmail, Maps, YouTube, and Calendar, and Gallery, of course. Now, the odd thing about Gallery in uh, this device is that there's no dedicated camera app. What you can see here is there's not the only thing that I've added on here so far is CF Bench, which is a benchmark app. Uh, everything else comes on here right away, and there's no there's nothing on here to to take photos up with. Now it has a front-facing uh, 1.3 megapixel camera, but uh, what you are meant to be using it for is either YouTube clips or um, Google Plus. So you can have sort of you can uh, hang out with other people with that. We have uh, several sets of widgets here. Obviously, most of them you saw on the front page there, and they're all connected to the Google Play uh, App Store. You got one screen of apps right out of the box, and you have a new notifications window. Now, this looks a little bit odd because it's it's just a uh, a screenshot of the screen, so it sort of fits in there weird. But when you take new photos or you take uh, new screenshots, they show up here in a little bit larger notification. Uh, we have a little bit of information here. This is connected to the movies. Uh, it shows that I'm downloading it right there. We have updates available. That's like normal. Um, up here we have messages. These are all messages from either Google Plus or Facebook or anything. They all collected in one. Uh, that's from Gmail. And then we also have a couple different things. One is uh, lock screen or this uh, lock the orientation of your device. You can lock it or unlock it. The way to get rid of all these at once is to tap this little thing with three bars. Flies off the side. 
and then you can go into your settings. And what you can see in settings is pretty much the same sort of screen you got in uh, Ice Cream Sandwich, but uh, the big difference being that you you know have Jelly Bean at this point. You can see that we our model number is Nexus 7. Um, our status at the moment shows we have 33 battery. Uh, we've been up for about 40 minutes from starting from flat, and then we have Android 4.1. And if you tap this a few times, you get a Jelly Bean, and if you hold it down, you get some floating Jelly Beans as well. So they're floating around there, and you can toss them around. Move them around like that. Bing, 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 bing. And they do not come back, by the way, so watch out for that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now if we head back to our home screen again, uh, you'll see that this does indeed have a 7-inch screen. It's HD, and the whole tablet's really nice. Now, <clears throat> this device is extremely light, obviously. Uh, uh, it's relatively thin. The back, we have a white version here, but there's also a black version. Get it clean up here. You got a white and a black version here. They both say Nexus in the back. What we're assuming at the moment is that this white version is the, t the one that you're going to be getting just from Google I.O. And this version is the one you're going to get in the store. So expect the black one, unless you get an option in the store to buy it that way. Uh, down here you can see Asus. Uh, you have a speaker grill there. Right down here in the FCC information, you'll find that this model is ME370T. That should remind you of an older product from Asus uh, that was revealed at CES. Not an older product, but a product that was revealed with a different name. That's it. Pretty cool stuff.